Um, tonight we're working through um, yin and yoga nidra. So just make sure that you have um, a blanket, keep yourself warm, maybe something to cover your eyes, like a little light cloth or something like that. Um, if you want some blocks or some cushions, that would be helpful. And you might also want a bolster or like a nice long thick pillow. So you've got for the back of your knees or behind your body. Um, and just find a nice comfortable seat. We'll come into a seat position to start. So this month we're moving into a little bit of a different area of the body and also then different energy flows in the body. So we're working more around the heart space for this whole month and really looking at ways to um, generate energy around the heart. So we're starting to build a pranic landscape around our heart space. And this in turn will start to build a stronger immunity, um, more a sense of in, internalization. So we're really starting to look more deeply at our, um, our emotions and finding more stability in positive emotion, letting go of those denser energies and moving more towards joy, contentment, freedom, and a sense of peacefulness in that stability within our heart space. And as we really start to cultivate energy around the heart, we're, we're drawing energy inward and this is linking into our senses. So our sense of touch, um, uh, taste, hearing, sight and smell. So as we build this energy around the heart space, it's really building our senses also. And when we've got a nice mastery over this energy and we really build our energy around our heart, we're looking to find stability, but also vibrancy within the senses. So you may notice this as you move throughout the month that you, you find you're much more in tune with your senses and that sense of immunity and really building up a strength around the heart space. So that's kind of where we're going through the month. And as we go, we'll, we'll work into specific areas and dig a little bit deeper into the heart chakra and crown vagi. So the energy of moving inward. So to begin, we'll, we'll start on um, an all fours position and just moving a little bit of energy around the heart. So just come to all fours, take up a nice wide base for your hands and knees. And just feel into your spine as it is here. So a nice long open spine. And you can look down towards the floor to keep the back of the neck nice and long. Just feel into the back of the heart space here. And just begin to take some very gentle movement side to side. So wiggling the shoulder blades up and down the back, maybe bending into the elbows, moving any of the tissue and the uh, connective tissues around the back of the heart, around the shoulder blade area. And really sending your breath into that space. If it feels nice to really pull side to side, you can start to push into the waist and stretch the hip away from the shoulder. So you're really opening up one side of the spine and then pushing into the other waist and opening up. And using your breath in a way that you can feel that you're getting into the back of the heart space. Let's just take a couple more breaths, moving in, in this way. Moving through any knots, any tension. And then we'll move more into a cat-cow rhythm. So as we inhale next round, we can allow the belly to drop towards the floor and lift the tailbone, lift the gaze, opening the heart space. And as we exhale, gently round it into the spine, push into the hands, push the shoulder blades up towards the ceiling, concave the front line of the body and really tuck the chin in towards the tailbone. So you're making a nice round into the spine. Just moving with your breath, nice, slow, deep breaths. Flexing and extending the spine. And again, if you find any areas that need a little bit of space or pausing into, you can take a moment there, maybe breathe and wriggle or move and hold. Whatever feels nice for your body. 
and just moving the tissue and opening a little bit more space around the heart. Let's just take in another round of breath. Moving through cat cow. And then coming into a central position again. And we'll move more in a barrel roll. So as we inhale, we can arch the spine. And as we exhale, drop the chest towards the floor. Inhale to open the back body and really push up into the shoulder blades. And then roll again. So you're getting more into the side body. And feeling like a nice spiraling around the spine. Let's just take one more in this direction and then we can reverse it. Inhaling. And exhaling to drop the chest. We're really doming and opening the back body. I'm feeling a bit more movement in the rib cage. Just taking one more through. And then coming into center. So from here, start to pad your hands forward and push back into your seat. So you're lengthening the tailbone down towards your heels. If you need to take the knees slightly wider, keep the toes together and just energize the knees open. And stretch the arms as far forward as you can. So you're really elongating through the back body. Then bringing the head either to the floor or you can use some blocks underneath your forehead just to rest. So you've got a nice length in the spine, but your head is not dropping below your heart. I'll pause in here in child's pose. So we can really breathe into the armpit area and feel this whole side of the rib cage, side of the chest opening up as you breathe. So the breath is almost widening and opening into the side body. And as you exhale, maybe finding the, the navel draws back to the spine and you can find a little bit more space through the spine as you pull the navel back on your exhale. Just finding tiny millimeter spaces to shift and move into. So although we're stationary and we're holding, we're just making tiny incremental spaces and pockets to fill up into and move more deeply into. Just taking another three rounds of breath here. Maybe you can stretch the hand slightly further forward or push more back into your tailbone to lengthen the spine. So if you have any props underneath your head, just move them out to the side. And we're walking the hands up and over to the right side of your mat. So take your hand, your right hand across as far to the right as feels good without lifting your sit bones off of your heels. And we can either place both hands on top or just beside, keeping them shoulder width apart. And really push back into the seat and then drop the head to or towards the floor once again. So we're opening up now the left side of the body. And as we breathe here, we're going to naturally send more breath into that left side rib cage. Maybe even feeling more space into the waist as well. But really visualize and feel the inflation in the back of the lung. So where we have that compression, we're just opening a little bit more space in the back body, in the back of the heart. And this actually has the most uh, lung capacity here in the back of the heart, the biggest surface area of the lung. So the more we can really send the energy of the breath in here, the more oxygen we're bringing into the body, the more sense of revitalization and vitality, and really helping to shift any stagnation in the lung. Just 
take in one more breath on this side. And then slowly taking your time, walk back into the middle of the mat, just realign for a moment, and then come all the way over to the left side of the mat. Again, either hands can be on top of each other or you can take the hands shoulder width apart. Push back into the tailbone, lengthen the spine, and then the head comes to or towards the floor. Now feeling the breath in the right side body. So we're really inflating into the intercostal muscles in the rib cage. And feeling that sense of opening in the waist, maybe even down into the pelvis as well. Back of the pelvis, getting a nice stretch and opening. But we're mainly focusing on breathing into the back of the lung. We can even see or visualize or feel the lung inflating and puffing up and really moving the musculature around the back of the heart. Moving the connective tissue, and just finding tiny pockets of space to move more deeply into. Let's take a final round of breath here. And then slowly begin to pad yourself back as you inhale, coming slowly up to all fours. Take a moment on all fours, just bring yourself back into a nice neutral position. And we're taking just a quick stretch through the ankles, toes, and also through the wrists. So if it feels comfortable, you can tuck your toes under and sit back onto your heels. If that's really uncomfortable, just grab some cushions or some blocks and bring them in between the feet so you can sit back onto that. And then you can also relax the feet down if it's a little bit too strong. And then we're taking the hands, the back of the hands are gonna tuck in to the side of the rib cage. So we're just stretching uh, the back of the wrist. We're moving into the extension of the heart down into the hands. And quite often we, we're using the hands open in this way. So the back of the wrist gets quite uh, stuck with energy. So while we're here, we're opening the toes. So this is helping to release the neck in reflexology when we open the toes helps to really soften any tension through the jaw, through the neck, through the shoulders, and also any issues with the sinuses. So make sure the toes are really nice and spread onto the floor. I promise we won't be here for too long. And then you wanna really push, not too viciously, but just gently push into the hand. So you feel that lovely opening from the back of the wrist all the way up into the forearm. And the more you can send the elbows back and open up the heart space, the more we can breathe into the heart as well. So just finding maybe your eyes closed or just a soft gaze towards the floor. And really feeling into what is arising. So we move into more of an awkward position. Sometimes it starts to bring up a sense of heat in the body. The mind starts going. So just tune in and see what is arising for you. We're not here for too much longer, I promise. Try to find softness and relaxation through the mind and through the face. Let's be here for two more breaths. Lovely, well done. And then slowly you can release your hands out release your feet and you can either sit back onto your heels with the toes tucked and give your circles of uh, your wrists a circle through or if you need to stretch the toes out you can come over onto all fours and give the ankles a circle through just take a moment to let yourself come back into balance and taking any movements that you might need to
to take one of our shit and we're moving over onto the seat we'll come back onto all fours in a moment but just to give the wrist a bit of a different stretch here we're moving into a little bit of an opening through the neck and shoulders so just take the feet out in front of you and we're leaning back into the hands and you want to send the fingertips away from you and then roll the shoulders back so we can take the left leg to the floor extend it out long and then take the right leg across so we're coming into a figure four stretch so you can either work from here if that's enough to open the hip for you or you can bring the left foot to the floor if you need to adjust and use your hand and you can take your hands back and then bring your hands behind you again so the closer in the leg to the body the more deep of a stretch we'll find in the outer hip so just find a position that feels good for you and that you don't feel like you're collapsing and we want to again roll the shoulders back lift up through the heart space and we want to find as much opening into the heart as we can and the more further away we move the hands the more deep of a uh, pressure we put into the wrist but also to open up the heart space so find a position that feels good to rest and we're just here for a minute and a half each side we want to really open the knee away from the body and open the heart space so lift up through the chest keep the chin gently tucking towards the chest and nice length at the back of your neck Feel the shoulder blades squeeze together to open up the heart and really push into the hands so you're lifting up and away so opening up the meridian lines from the heart space and obviously they run from the heart down into the hands and then an extension of our heart space that sense of touch Just taking another 30 seconds or so here. Maybe you can move the knee a little bit more. Maybe you can find a bit of a deepening into lift through your heart space. And really sending the breath into the heart. Trying to relax through the jaw, relax the eyebrows. Just another two or three more rounds of breath here. You can slowly edge the left foot away and release your right foot down to the floor and then slowly walk yourself in to a lifted position just take a moment here so we're going back with the arms again so just find a little bit of softness you can take any rolls through the shoulders maybe it might feel nice to move the arms so often when we're moving the body in different ways can feel a bit strong through the body so as we take a little bit of a rebound in between it just allows us to move anything that might feel a little bit stuck and sticky so always take any movements that feel good for your body and then we can go to the other side so take in your right leg out long left ankle this time on the end of the thigh bone lean back into the hands or you can use your hand to bring that leg up and we're taking the fingertips away from us just bringing the, the foot in as close to the body as feels comfortable and send that left knee away keeping your foot flexed lift up through the heart space and we're here just for about a minute and a half on this side and then really breathing into the chest and finding a nice length through the back of your neck through the whole spine and finding that squeeze in between the shoulder blades to help really open the heart space Noticing if the collarbones are collapsing inwards, can you really open and expand across the collarbone area and the tops of the shoulders? Can you roll them down and away from the neck and the shoulder and the ears? So the shoulder blades feel that they're gliding down the back. 
Let's take the last 30 seconds. Just take a last round of breath here. And then again, slowly come out of the shape. So you're just edging the leg forward if you lifted and then taking the foot off. Slowly pad yourself back up to lift position. And then you can take by the legs out long or feet to the floor and take any movement through the arms that feel nice. So maybe you're rolling in and out. Maybe feeling that opening through your shoulder. Maybe it might feel nice to roll the shoulders. Nice. So from here, just bringing the feet into butterfly or you can work in a cross leg position. So whichever feels most comfortable, either cross leg or butterfly. Um, we're working through cow face. So I'm just going to turn my back to you so you can see what we're doing. So you can work to bring your left hand up the back body. And if you if it feels really far away, you can either grab the forearm and pull it in or grab onto the elbow and pull it in. So we're energizing the elbow into the midline and then we can send the hand up the back body. So really opening up the shoulder blade in the front of the shoulder on this left side. And then we can work to bring the right hand to meet. We want to pull the, the hand away and lift up into the elbow, but send the head back. So if that's really uncomfortable, you can also work just to send the elbow top into the center and slide the hand into the back of the heart. And then we use the head to lean back. So if that feels most comfortable to work from here, you can bring here and then maybe try to reach behind if you want to give that a go. So this is cow face. We're just working into the hips a little here. So if you wanted to increase the stretch in the hips, just take a few rounds of breath here and really find a nice length through the spine. If you want to increase, then you can start to just gently lean forward, but don't allow the back to collapse. We want to keep the spine long and straight. So this hip stretch is just additional. We're working mainly into the upper body. So we're here for another two minutes, two minutes in total. Just notice if the head is falling forward and you really push the head back to open up more deeply into the armpit area and lift up through the elbow. So creating as much space down the arm as you can. And then feel the shoulder blade is gliding down the back and pushing in. So the shoulder blade pushes into the body to lift up the heart. And then notice where your breath is moving. Can you send it more fully into any space that's opening? Well done, just coming through last 50 seconds. Just take a last round of breath here. And then if you took the bind, both hands, just release your left hand, release the bottom arm, and then slowly and gently release the top arm. 
So just gently taking the arm out to the side. And again, if you need to take any movement, feel free to roll the shoulder. Or maybe it might feel nice to swing it a little bit side to side, forward and back. Just getting a nice bit of movement going in the joint. So we don't often hold the arm in that way, so it can feel quite intense. But the more we can really mobilize the shoulder joint, the more freedom and liberation that we feel in our breathing and in our mind also carry a lot of burden on our shoulder. Right, so we can go to the other side. If you've taken butterfly, just keep your legs as they are. And if you're taking easy pose, the cross leg, the switch over so you've got opposite shin in the front there. And then again, we either take in the hand up the back. So this time, right arm goes up behind you and left arm is gonna come up and over. I'm not, I'm not mirroring you. I'm doing the same side as you. So it's your left arm up. I wanna gently again, push the head back to really open up the chest. I wanna pull both elbows in towards the midline. So we're really getting that nice opening and lift and feel the shoulder blade press into your heart space. So the shoulder blades helping to lift up the chest. And then energize the elbows away from each other, gently pulling in the hands. Or if you're taking the variation with holding the elbow, you can gently ease the hand. The hand can come more in towards the back of the heart. And then the elbow can gently pull in. So you're getting that nice length and opening through the armpit and keeping spaciousness across the chest and through the neck. And then again, if you wanted to increase the stretch in the hip, then we're just taking a gentle lean forward. That's only if it feels good for your body. And again, we're here for about another two minutes or so. Breathe into the space that's opening up. Just notice if you've collapsed anywhere, see if you can find a little bit more opening, length in the spine, openness or broadness across collarbones and the chest. Come in for your last minute. So we're just taking a final round of breath here. And then we can slowly release the bottom arm first if you took the bind. And then gently lift up through the top arm, slowly bring that arm down and around. That's going to take any movement, any circling. And if, even if it feels nice to flick the arms, if it feels good to twist and rotate through the upper body. Any movement that feels good for you. The more we can really let our body guide us, the more we can become really in tune with that intuitive guidance, that intuitive wisdom of our body. And it just ripples out through our whole world, through our whole life. We really trust that voice of our body. And we know what feels right for us and what's best for us. So always listen to what you need to do. So we're, we're going to do just a couple more uh, poses before we come down. So we'll take a twist to just get a little bit deeper into the chest and heart area. So we can come over onto an all fours position again. You might want to use a pillow or a, a nice blanket underneath your 
head. Um, we're taking quite a long space through the body. So the, you want the pillow towards the top of the mat and take the hands just underneath the shoulders, knees underneath your hips again. And we'll come to the right side first. So take your left arm and inhale open. So you're twisting towards the left. And then as you exhale, we'll thread the left arm underneath the right. And then that's where you need to find if you need your pillow. So we want to keep the knees and the hips stacked over the top of each other. And we can just push into the right hand and thread that arm through. So we've got a really nice opening and turning through the spine. And then you can either keep your right hand there where it is, or if you want to slide it more towards the top of your mat, you're going to get a nice opening down the side body. Or if you want to deepen the twist, you can bring your hand round to either grab the top of your left thigh and really pull and open, maybe twist and open more for the uh, head and chest. Or you can just rest your hand on your lower back. So find which position feels most comfortable. And really make sure that the hips and pelvis is staying neutral. So you want to send gently the left hip forward and the right hip back, just to keep everything nice and neutral. And here for about a minute and a half each side. So just let yourself settle into the shape and then finding your breath once again. And really breathe and open into the heart area. Just so take a final round of breath on this side. And if you've taken your hand into the bind, just bring your right hand again back into a post in front of your face. And with your next inhalation, slowly and gently lift yourself back up to an all fours position. There's no need to rush at all, just coming back slowly. And then find a neutral um, spine once again. And we can go on to the other side. So as you inhale, open up for your right arm, really twist. Exhale, so thread the right arm underneath your left arm, twist and turn all the way to the left side, just placing the blanket if you need it there. And then left hand can now stay in front of the face, slide to the top of the mat, or again, finding your right thigh, twisting and turning or again, bring your hand to the sacrum. So find in whichever position feels most comfortable. I'm just here for a minute and a half. Find in your right hip gently pulling forward, the left hip gently pulling backwards to keep the spine neutral. Try to find a nice length into the back of the neck. You're not uh, bringing the chin too close to the chest. And make sure that majority of the weight is on your shoulder. So as we gently put pressure onto the shoulder, we're releasing any tension as we come out. And we'll be turning through the upper body, we're gonna get a nice ring through the lungs, removing any stagnation out of the lung, helping to flush with fresh blood through the lungs, through the arms, and also through the heart. So the more we breathe, the more prana and energy we can flood through these meridian lines and through the organs themselves.
Just take a final round of breath here. And if you took the bind, release the hand gently in front of the face. And with the next inhalation, slowly come back through to centre and just pause here in centre. So you can bring your knees closer in and sit back to the heels. Just take a moment here or stay in all fours if it's more comfortable for your knees. Just pause in here for a moment. Okay, so we're moving into um, um, Yoga Nidra from here. So if you wanted to uh, just prop yourself up, I'd recommend bringing a blanket. So about this thick behind the back of your head or a not too high pillow. Bring a bolster behind the back of your knees. And you might want to bring some cushions underneath your feet, but make sure that your feet are connected to the floor so they're not lifted off the floor. And before we come down to lay down and rest, just bring up yourself down, but hug your knees into the chest. So you can either hold around the back of the knee and hug in, or hold around the shins and hug in. If it feels nice to take a few rolls side to side, you can do that too. Just finding a little bit of symmetry to the body before we come to rest. And then when you're ready, just bring yourself out into Shavasana. So taking the arms out to the side, just turning the palms up. And as you turn the palms up, roll the shoulder blades down and under so you feel them really spreading wide and melting to the floor. If you have anything to cover your eyes, you might like to do that or turn the light off. Just make sure that you're really comfortable and rested before we come to lay down. Just make, make any final movements. Anything that allows you to really come into a nice rested space. Just make any final adjustments to your props, to your position. And then from this very still and comfortable place, now become the observer of sounds. Begin with sounds close by. And then gradually hearing sounds further and further away from your body without any analysis of the sound, just observation of sound. Actually begin to guide your awareness back closer in towards your body. And then observe your body. Scan it with your mind, with your awareness. And notice if there are any areas of the body holding tension unnecessarily. And just invite those areas to relax. So it seems that your physical body is completely open and soft. The whole body is rested and moving towards sleep. Body and mind asleep, but our awareness remains awake and conscious. Now become aware of your breath, life force pulsing through your body as breath. 
take conscious hold of your breath and practice deep conscious breathing. So aware of the belly rising and falling as you breathe. Notice the distinct difference of the qualities of the inhale and the exhale. The inhale is vibrancy, sense of nurturance and vitality. And the exhale is more of a sense of surrendering and letting go. Now release conscious hold of the breath and return to effortless breathing. And just notice that the body breathes, the whole body breathes. And it breathes by itself. You are not the breather, but the one witnessing the body breathe. So allow yourself to sink even more deeply into the witness. Rest completely in awareness. Full body relaxed, mind moving towards sleep, and you resting in spacious awareness. So move your awareness now to the center of your forehead and relax the whole area and see or feel a point of green light emerge, a singular point of green light, like a jewel or a tiny five pointed star in the center of your forehead. Relax the space and then move your awareness to the center of your throat. Relax the area and feel the point of green light emerging. Now to the right shoulder. Green light or jewel, completely relaxed. The right elbow. The right wrist. Tip of the right thumb, point of light. Index finger. Middle finger. Ring finger, tip of the little finger, point of green light. Whole body is effortless. Right wrist, right elbow relaxed, right shoulder, center of the throat. Green five pointed star. The left shoulder, left elbow, center of the left wrist, tip of the left thumb, left index finger, middle finger. Ring finger, tip of the little finger, green star, relax. Left wrist, left elbow, shoulder, center of the throat. Body sleeps, mind sleeps, awareness remains awake. Center of the chest, relax. See or feel the point of green light emerging. Heart and the lungs relaxing. Right side of the chest, green jewel emerging. Center of the chest. Left side of the chest, sense of ease. Center of the chest. Navel center, relaxed, point of green light emerging. Top of the sacrum, 
center of the right hip, right knee, right ankle, tip of the right big toe, second, third, fourth, fifth, relaxed green star, right ankle, knee, center of the right hip, Top of the sacrum, green light. Center of the left hip. Left knee. Left ankle. Tip of the left big toe. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth toe, relax, point of green light. Left ankle, knee, center of the left hip. Top of the sacrum, navel center, the whole body relaxed. Center of the chest, sense of light and freedom, throat, center of the forehead, point of light, whole body relaxed, joyful, light and free. Feel into all of those points simultaneously, all points pulsing together as one like a brightly lit constellation of glowing green stars, like jewels in the night sky. Relax even deeper into pure witnessing consciousness, aware of all of the points, effortless easefulness. And a sense of spaciousness surrounding these points of green light. And see and feel the breath like a gentle breeze moving through that space of consciousness. The breath moving through the space of consciousness between the green stars. Move your attention to the inside of your forehead and see it like a black screen. Yogis call it chidikasha, which is the screen of the mind. Now position yourself back from the screen, somewhere in the middle of your brain, observing forwards the black screen. This is a place where the subconscious mind can release its tensions and also where the soul can communicate with the mind via symbols. So just witness, without any attachment or expectation, watch the screen of your mind, allow images to unfold of their own free will. No pressure, simply watching and observing. If nothing appears, just simply allow yourself to rest even more deeply. Release any expectations and just witness black screen.
Now listen to the following and allow yourself to experience and envision the different scenes on all levels of emotion, memory, and imagine, imagination as best as you can. Just jump from image to image as soon as you hear it. A flowing river. Expansive mountain top. A warm bed. Foggy morning. The warmth of sunshine. Making an appointment. Running a bath. Horse galloping in a field. Opening a letter. Conflict with a stranger. Birds soaring overhead. Cool, dense forest. Full moon. Burning candle. Receiving help. A warm embrace. Walking a jagged path. Temple on a mountain. Cat stretching. Your reflection in a mirror. Vast open ocean. Running through a crowd. Vivid sunset. A starry sky. Alarm clock ringing. Taking a deep breath. The center of your chest. your heart space. I am stable in the light, joy and freedom of my heart's innate wisdom. I am stable in the light, joy and freedom of my heart's innate wisdom. I am stable in the light, joy and freedom of my heart's innate wisdom.
I am stable in the light, joy and freedom of my heart's innate wisdom. I am stable in the light, joy and freedom of my heart's innate wisdom. I am stable in the light, joy and freedom of my heart's innate wisdom. Begin to very slowly return to your breath. And gently begin to bring some movement to your head, turn your head side to side. Movement through your hands and your feet. And slowly begin to stretch yourself out, taking any movements that feel nice. Maybe a full body stretch or hugging knees into the chest or some knee sways. Whatever allows you to slowly come back into this space. And then whenever you're ready, just rolling off to a side and pause on your side. Just take a few moments of breathing into the back of your heart, a few transitioning breaths here. And then when you're ready, gently and slowly press yourself up to a seated position. You can draw your hands together in prayer at the heart space. Just closing the practice of yoga nidra. Taking a nice deep breath into the heart space. And bowing the head down to the heart. In gratitude and reverence. Namaste.